Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be trying something. I don't know if it's going to work, so this might not even make it to the channel, but we'll see. We're going to be doing a kit bash to make a brotherhood of battle. So these are the sisters of battle. They're pretty cool. Um, but if you you want to play like dudes, <laughs> I guess that's the best way to put it. Um, you know, I just kind of figure out some customization ideas for them, kind of make like a inquisitorial, like human faction-y thing. So I have some bits and from here and all over the place and we'll just kind of try to see what we can do. So what our base is going to be is going to be like these like inquisitor type people from the Haro Deep game. Or not, Warhammer Underworlds Warband. Uh, I really like his head. And I like, you know, we want like these these flowing capes on the bottom kind of to keep it similar to how th these are. Um, but, you know, just kind of masculine them up a little bit. And I know that's probably like against the the code or whatever they are, you know, but like we're gonna we're gonna see what we can do here. So I don't want to really mess up this guy because I really like him and I kind of just want to paint him. But this guy, the crossbow guy, he looks pretty good, like a good lo loner because we can take this off, I think, and this and leave this pretty smooth under here. Um, and you know, versus this guy who's got all these pouches and guns and hammers and stuff that would be a, a pain to kind of get off. So. Let's start taking this guy apart and see um, what we can do here. So let's take this off if we can. I don't know what else it's attached to. Um, and we're gonna, cool, it came off. <laughs> let's kind of keep those pieces to the side. Um, and then we're gonna cut him at the waist uh, to get our, so this is gonna have to go because we want to bring in some sci-fi kind of, you know, things to this instead of keeping it at all fantasy. So let's get our X-Acto knife razor blade thing and just get at his waist here and just apply pressure slowly and carefully. You don't want to mess yourself up we're going in pretty good here just keep going just push use your thumb if you have to I'm just gonna lean it on my desk here a little bit so I have a little bit better leverage here you might have hit like a thick spot Okay, so we can probably peel it now. Okay, so we've su successfully separated the top from the bottom and we can just kind of shave the rest of it to keep it pretty flat. Now I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do any green stuff for this. Actually, I don't even know if I have green stuff right now, but we'll just kind of take it by one at a time here. We're just cutting off the, the rest of the back of the armor that was here, just kind of rounding it out. Okay, so that's our legs done. He's not even on the right size base, so might just kind of glue the base on top of this base. Who knows, who knows? Um. And then we're going to take a Tempester Scion and kind of use him as our donor body. The head just went somewhere. Don't know where. Let's get all these things off it. We can always put more on later, like the... Actually, you know, because I don't even know if that's connected to the body. That's not connected to the body. So we're going to take off this backpack. 
And this is a good thing about using some glues is it's just pretty easy to snap off the, the back pieces. So this is kind of damaged, so we're gonna cut this off just to keep it kind of together. And then we should be able to separate this body now somehow. So we'll just kind of go grab onto the legs because we don't really want to damage the top part and just kind of rotate and pull Oop. to get this separated from the waist. These are probably going to have to go anyway, these like little downward plates. You also use like a regular um, Imperial Guard chest piece, but I think these ones are a little bit more, ah, there we go. I think these ones are a little bit more robust. Kind of like them more than just using a regular one. Cause we're trying to remember, like we're still trying, they're kind of space marine -y. So you want bigger and ornate and stuff like that. And you don't really get that with um, basic marine bits. Having some trouble in here, getting this to come undone. Maybe we can clip right here. You can also use like wire cutters or something to, there we go. And like I said, this is probably gonna have to come off anyway because of how we have the thingies. And let's kind of do like a little test fit here. Let's see how that goes. Just kind of picking away at some of the stuff on here. Because I didn't have any just plain body sitting around, which I wish I did. Uh, I have heads have arms, kind of. Yeah, it's kind of the, the best we can do there. So, let's get this connected. And we can use super glue because this way it will kind of build up the areas that we want instead of like sculpting a whole bunch of stuff. You can just kind of put a bunch of glue in there and fill in gaps that way. It's kind of a lazy way of doing it, but here we are. So let's put that there. You can also fill in the gaps later once you kind of have it where you want it. Let me get my accelerant here just to really kind of seal this in. Just put put your glue on. You can blow on it to kind of flatten it and give it a spray. And then it should connect to it itself here. Okay. Now we have to do the arms. So let's see, what do we have here on this Tempester um, thing? So we want the, this is a, we're gonna use the Sisters of Battle guns. So this is a left hand. So for the left hand, we're gonna try to find one. Oh, here's, here's one. Here's a bolt pistol on a uh, left hand that belongs to a Tempester. So we can kind of take that and we'll probably shave off this symbol because we probably want to put like some inquisitor type symbols on there, you know, like paint, like just freehand on there, some inquisitor iconography. 
And I'm kind of new to like scraping and stuff like that. I'm not really super into it. Um, I usually use like files and stuff. So we're just going to file that down. And then we'll cut the gun off at the parts where we need to. So let's get, let's just cut the, there goes another piece into the void. We just want to kind of pr preserve the trigger area. Eh, I didn't really, but whatever. It's okay. It's okay. Just kind of flatten that out there. And then for here, we'll just take this gun right here. And well, here, let's make it so that it's the right Size here, and I feel like I don't know. Like when I got these, I felt like they're like the wrong scale because they're so small. But I guess that's how they're supposed to be. Let me just kind of go here, cut into there. Just cut right along the bottom here and along the grip right there and that should be able to get us the gun onto him so we'll just put our glue down again and then we'll pre spray that guy and then we'll just Connect. Ooh, and that paint's coming off. <laughs> so now we have the, the gun on one arm, which we will then glue on to here. like that and then for this other arm the flag would be kind of cool but I don't know let's do a sword the power sword because that's probably pretty universal I don't really like I said I don't know shit about the sisters of battle I know they have like a lot of heavy weapons and stuff like that but I would assume they also have like power swords and all that. So, so we have this power sword arm, so we'll just use the power sword. So we got the arm right here. Also have, I also had some sprue from the Kassikrin to Kassikrin people that I could probably have used too, but I like that one. That one's pretty cool. And we're going to do the same thing to the, the power sword hand. We're just going to clean off the thing and then cut off the symbol if we can. You can always just do it later. Let's take this. Let's shave this down. This one's a little bit more in an awkward spot. Um, try not to cut myself. So I'm just going to put it here on the table and just do some shaving that way. I hope you're enjoying this video. It's kind of just an exploratory, fun thing. Like if you want to customize models and, you know, make them your own, this is a neat little thing that you can do. So what we did is we switched it with the body from from the Tempesters. Put it like that a 
little bit. And then the leg is from there. So you can see like the feet are a little bit less pointy and they're also like thicker towards the bottom. And we, we've maintained some of like the, the design, right? Now you could use the heads also from these two. These helmets aren't overly like feminine or masculine, I don't think. Like I, to me, they don't feel that way. So you can make, um, you can make them, you can still use the Sisters of Battle heads if you'd like. Um, we're now we're just gonna get some like doodads and stuff to put on the belt. So we got that, we got some grenades. Let's see if we have any pouches to put on them. And that's also gonna help us cover up the um, the seams that we have. So let's just get those ones that we can. Also, the sisters are pretty like holy, right? So let's, we have this medical thing we can kind of convert into like a book. But also let's look at our bits here that we have from the sisters and see if they have anything that we could use. So here's obviously a big old heavy bolter. She just has grenades, nothing really. We don't really have any inquisitor bits, you know, so we'd have to do that all with painting. She's got some pouches. She's got like a little rosary. Um, maybe we can put that on the bottom of the sword, maybe? That might be cool. Um, purity seals is another good thing. Yeah, I mean, I do have, maybe I'll dig it out. I have a space marine kit somewhere that I could probably use some bits from. So we'll just go with what we have right here for now and then we'll, I might have to do like a, a little pause and then find the pieces. So let's go here and let's put in some grenades to cover up that, help cover that um, area there. And we can just kind of carry that on. And here with whatever this pouch is. Like that. And then before we get too ahead of ourselves, let's put the backpack on so that we know where that sits on this guy. So let's put some super glue down there. Give it a spray. There's our backpack. It's an actual Sisters of Battle backpack. And let's put this here and then get our canteen right there. And that's not, not terrible. Okay, now for the head, if we, like I said, if we wanted to do helmets, we could do that. We could do the Tempester heads. We could even do Space Marine heads. Um, I think this is gonna be a good spot to pause right now so I can get those Space Marine bits out though and see what we can get from there too. So I'll be back in one second. Okay, we're back. Uh, destroyed my back but I got the intercessor sprue that I had. Um, there's a lot of purity seals on here that we're gonna take. We'll let's take like three of them to be kind of cool about it. We also have a scabbard, which could be used for the thingy, but we'll skip that for now. Let's see what else we got. Oh, here we go. Some keys and here's a book. So we'll take the book for sure.
and then we got like these little reliquary thingies so we'll take one of those just want to like kind of symbol up our brotherhood here let me see what else got a cool holster with a pistol maybe we'll take that because that's kind of cool what else do we got here here's a pouch right here take that one as well and that'll probably be it for this sprue just take a quick gander here yeah I think we're good okay so now we can do some actual stuff so let's take this off here because we want to put the pistol there probably so let's get this get our super glue put on there and find it a nice resting spot in there and then we'll put the book let me clean that up really quick right here and then we'll get a purity seal here Put one on the gun. Just kind of hanging off. And then you just put one on the chest here just use our file here to move this up okay and then we got this little reliquary just kind of put it in this little nook there Be a little too much stuff, but <laughs> here we are. I will just ignore those, and then for the head, let's try to get this head. I don't think it's it might not be possible, but we'll see. Because I like the hat. I'm just trying to rock it out of here and see what comes with it, because we don't want to. Here we go, we got it. This was like part of the the armor or the, the collar there. So let's just clean that up a bit. And let's see. Yeah, just what I thought, the hat won't fit because of the piece there. So we could either cut that piece, we'd also have to build a neck, which I don't really have the pieces for right now. So let's look at Space Marine heads. Let me see, we can do the berets. The berets might be cool. Let's try, let's try this guy. 
the beret with the mask. Uh, but he's like a lieutenant. Let's go with the guy with the skull and the little eyepiece because, you know, that's Warhammer. So he's got like the little eye and the thingy there. So let's just take him. Put some glue in our little hole here. And that way this head's actually built for this body. You don't have to be crazy. Doesn't really look cool, does it? Sure doesn't. What about the Space Marine head? To kind of keep that... That theme of, you know, these are like kind of a super combo of all that stuff. You can also use the like, skull heads from the other guys, so that'd be pretty sick. So that's our Brotherhood Brotherhood of Battle character. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see about getting this guy painted up. Maybe build him a collar or something. But yeah, thanks for watching. And we'll see you guys on the next one.